So that takes us then to feedback and assessment. So let's spend a moment or two talking about what this, what this means and the implications of feedback and assessment. So the definition I have here is that um, uh, feedback and assessment involve the methods used to determine whether and to what extent learners have achieved the learning outcomes. So it goes back to what will be considered as evidence. What will be acceptable evidence to know that your students have learned? Okay. And this is uh, something I stole from, from Diane that, that shows the wide variety of different methods of assessment. And so that um, we can think about what is easy versus what is difficult, but then notice um, on the, the far side, my pointer seems to be dying, the potential for assessment goes up as the assessment becomes more complex that we can assess learning in a much deeper way with these more complex types of assessments. 